Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're live. Okay, so to remind you, uh, the, the process is we vote one against all the others, and we just keep going through until we finish. And it's a, a straight up vote, much like choices you have to make as council members throughout. So I'll call the votes, and then we'll count the numbers, and then go from there. Okay. So the first vote is the. Ped bike safety versus walkway and waterways. All those for ped bike safety. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, this is uh, which you prefer. You prefer one over the other. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This is two. Okay. Ped bike safety versus lake point. All those for ped bike safety. One, two, three, four, seven. Okay. Ped bike safety versus BRT 522, all for ped bike safety. Seven. Zero. Wait, no, I would say. Oh, I'm sorry. Six. Yeah. So six. I'll do that. That's a six. This is a one. Brett's learning strategy here. Right. Okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I actually think our window is this year on the, on the BRT. That's why I. Yeah. Pet bike safety versus economic development, all for pet bike safety. Six. One. Pet bike safety versus parks, all for pet bike safety. Seven. Parks is zero. Pet bike safety versus affordable housing, all those for pet bike safety. Six. Ped bike safety versus climate and environment. All is for ped bike safety. Seven zero. <laughs> ped bike safety versus community diversity and fun. All is for ped bike safety. Seven zero. And this last round. Ped bike safety versus financial sustainability plan, all for ped bike safety. Six, one. Okay. Two against the others. Walkways and waterways versus Lake Point, all for walkways. Seven. Zero. Walkways versus BRT, all those for walkways. Walkways and waterways versus economic development. All those for walkways. Seven zero. Walkways and waterways for park improvement. All those for walkways. Seven zero. Walkways versus climate, excuse me, affordable housing. All those for walkways. Five. Two. Walkways versus climate environment. All those for walkways. Seven. Zero. Walk, walkways versus community diversity and fun. All those for walkways. Seven. Zero. Walkways versus financial sustainability. All those for walkways. Six, one. Okay, Lake Point's up next. Lake Point versus BRT, all for Lake Point. One, two, two. Let's call, I'll make the call again. Yeah, Lake Point, Lake Point versus BRT, all for Lake Point. Lake Point versus economic development, all those for Lake Point. Six. One. Lake Point versus parks, all those for Lake Point. Five, two. Lake Point versus affordable housing, all for Lake Point. 
Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Who is the one? Who is the one? Like, really, really. <laughs> okay, Lake Point versus Climate. All those for Lake Point. Four. Three. Lake Point versus Community Diversity. All for Lake Point. Six. And finally, Lake Point versus financial sustainability, all for Lake Point. Zero. Oh, excuse me. One. One. Six. Okay. <laughs> Continuing on. <laughs> BRT is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, BRT on. versus economic development, all for BRT. Seven. No. No. no? I didn't. I didn't Six. vote for BRT. Oh, well, I'm sorry. All those for BRT. BFP, Let's do it again. BRT. BRT is six. What? BRT versus parks. All those for BRT. Seven. BRT versus affordable housing. All for BRT. BRT versus climate, all is for BRT. Seven. BRT for community diversity and fun, all for BRT. Seven. And finally, BRT versus financial stability, all for BRT. Okay. Economic development's up next versus parks improvement, all for economic development. Four. Three. Economic development versus affordable housing, all for economic development. One, two. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Yeah, economic, de again. <laughs> economic development versus affordable housing, all for economic development. Two. Five. Economic development versus climate, all for economic development. Five. Two. Economic development versus community diversity and fun, all for economic development. Economic development and financial sustainability, all for economic development. Two. Five. Okay. Halfway through. Parks improvement up next. Parks improvement versus affordable housing, all for parks. One. Six. Parks versus climate, all for parks. Parks versus community diversity and fun, all for parks. Four, three. Parks versus financial stability, all for parks. Sustainability. Sustainability, sorry. One. Six. Affordable housing's up next. Affordable housing versus climate, all for affordable housing. Seven. Affordable housing versus community diversity and fun, all for affordable housing. Seven. Affordable housing versus financial sustainability, all for affordable housing. Four. Three. Okay. Climate's up next. Climate versus community diversity and fun, all for climate. Climate versus financial sustainability, all for climate. Zero. Seven. Our last comparison, 
community diversity fund versus financial sustainability, all for community diversity fund. Zero. Seven. Okay. We'll add them up and let you know. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Which is good. It's what we want. Except that it's weird because we plan to have Yeah. That was fun. So, uh, there was lots guys, we're still we're still recording live. Just let you know. Yeah. Okay. You okay with that? Are we taking a break? Uh, or, I mean, if we're still alive, then we can talk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just letting you know it's all live. Yep. So, I'll put my number down. It's never so cool. I think it's well, mm -hmm. the different thing. The way I see this is it takes next two years to build it. It doesn't start this year. Yeah. Oh, this year, the work the project is already set out. Oh, unless something hurts. But don't be advised. Based on the top five. Yeah. But then it's not. But there's a lot of change right now. What if the Oh, has a lot No, well, the Ford model is in the The Ford plan has a little bit of a project that is not the great one. It has changed your goals, actually, but with the Ford plan, it's in the budget. So, I don't feel like it should be more like the August, September plan. It's actually going to influence the budget. So, the goals change. So, the session starts. So, now we switch everything around. It doesn't make sense. We're doing this. I mean, essentially, it could drive it to 20, but then we would have to revisit it to remember what we said. I mean, it is it is odd. We're doing things that we're not so we've already done some work on the mobile network. We've already got many views on the work plan. But then the next time around, we will like get two or three out of the on affordable housing. So I mean, we're lucky to get one out of the time. Yeah, I would like to get two more than affordable housing. Me too. Right now. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, So clearly, to come out of the blue, you're on the list. Uh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, so, I mean, I mean yeah, 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 I just found that interesting. I can't yeah. I didn't yeah. see that for that. But right. Right. Or, you know, if it there was no money or something. I'm on the It's like it's like it's like it's like a cultural idea. Yeah, 
That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I'm going to be great. I don't want to do hard work. I don't want to do hard work. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. the time the last two. All right, let me give you your results. <laughs> and uh, so number one is head bike safety. Number two is walkways and waterways. Number three is affordable housing. Number four, where did we go? Financial. financial. Fi uh, number four, financial. Number five, you see too many numbers here. Yeah. BRT. BRT? BRT. Okay, so that's your top five. That's good. Okay. So, so, so number point. six is Lake Point. Lake Point falls on the top five. Yeah. We can Ooh. tell you were shocked. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Number seven is economic development. Number eight is parks. We have a tie for nine, and we can do a quick vote if you want to break the tie. So, five. can you go through the six, seven, eight again? So, six was Lake Point. Uh, Seven was economic, economic development, seven. and eight is parks. Eight is parks. Right. Nine, nine is nine. We have two nines. Community and parks. We could do a quick vote and change that if you wanted to. Yeah, let's sort it out. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, it's going to be climate versus community <laughs> diversity. All those for. Wait, which one? It's climate and. Climate and the environment. Climate yeah. and. Community diversity. Oh, the fun one. The build communities. The fun one. Right. Okay. Right. So these are both come in at nine. So we're just going to do a straight up vote. And the one that gets the most is, is nine. What it comes down. Okay, you ready? Climate versus community diversity and fun. All for climate. Three versus four. So now yeah. yeah, we know why they're <laughs> yeah, right, Exactly. This is now. Uh, Number stays at nine. nine. Yeah. This is now number ten. Discussion. We'd like to hear Rob's, or I would like to hear Rob's input on Lake Point and how that will impact his thoughts going forward. After you've come out of your shock moment. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Plan B, subsection I, <laughs> is going to be. Yeah, I don't mind that. Big deal. So. So, are you changing your? I mean, would that, would this result here change your ability to do that this year? Still, I still want to do it. I'm still going to try to make it happen. Okay. But. Can we evaluate on six? <laughs> I mean, it just seems like it, it's a little odd that it's um, off completely. No, it does mean he's doing ignore the ones we just moved up to the top five. What it will mean going to work harder. is that if he has to make a choice between putting energy between a top five and those below using your model, he would default to the top five. Now, the exception to that has been high opportunity. <clears throat> so what would happen is, it, and just theoretically, if something earth shaking, so let's say Let's say the fellow that you have working with you on this thing comes back and says, you know what, we'd like to do that. That actually might have changed the way you voted on this. If, 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 if you were looking at a letter, yeah, that's, that's a if, if, if you looked at a letter tomorrow that said, you know what, let's redo yeah. this, let's yeah. resume, we're all in, let's try to figure this out, that might have changed. And I think at that point, and this is just, let, let's be flexible, let's let life speak to us, right? And you've been good about that. If that happened, I'm sure your manager would come to you and go, hey, and you'd go, let's go do it. So it's not rigid, but uh, in the main, plodding along, giving what you know today, if that remained, that would be the choice he'd make then. At some point, if he had to decide whether to do something in the top five versus something on Lake Point, nothing's changed from today, he would default to one of the top five. That's what would happen. I mean, theoretically. Yeah, so I mean, let's take affordable housing, for example. We got the three things we're going to be doing. So, finishing up the mobile home park, doing ADUs, and, and then the MFTE and POD. Um, those will be pretty normal, easy things to do compared to the RFP for Lake Point. You know, it's just one seems like it's a bigger deal than the other. But 
affordable housing, you're ranking higher. So and, it is what it is. I'm and you're not just driving work plans for this. You're also speaking to yourself and others, too. And in the past, if, if, if the top five goals represented 30% of your work plan, available resources, we've always said that you would drop down into that bottom tier to yeah. do work then too. Yeah. And that's never, yeah. so it's not rigid. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's, to, it's to help keep your resources and organization focused and forward according to your wishes. These are your, your votes. So. And a lot of those other things that Rob gave the purpose member earlier, this member's bridge is going to still take a lot of time, even if it's nowhere on this list. So there's plenty of work to be done. Other comments or discussion or thoughts? I think it's always fun when a new thing comes on and rates in the top five. Yeah. One, one could argue it's, it's kind of like David's idea. What's the big thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, to go from zero to number four is a pretty major big deal. It is. It's, yeah. it so is. it's not number one, but it's still a pretty big deal. Yeah. It is. I credit Rob with that, actually. <laughs> You've been beating the drum on that. And we are now all beating the same drum, which I think is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and to see affordable housing go from seven to three yeah. is a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, big deal. Yeah. 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 It feels like next year when I bring up affordable housing, I will have more support. Yeah. Instead of this year, it's just, it's barely enough to suit me. But. <laughs> That's okay. I'm willing to wait here. That's always been the way it has been. <laughs> <laughs> I always like the sidewalks. Remember how it's yeah, like the sidewalks. So you wanted it one? I just no, you no. Um, but this year, I you know I felt last year's retreat. Oh, we had some agreement that affordable housing was going to get even more action than the oh, things we're working on. Yeah. And but next year, now that it's in the top five, it'll probably get a little more attention. Right? But the, the, and this is really quite refreshing to me because what we we've been talking about affordable housing housing for a number of years. And the answer that I've always gotten is we have affordable housing trail parks right next to us. We've got more affordable housing than we need. Anybody well, we found out that's not true, and now it's becoming important, and it's actually in the top five. So, mm -hmm. yay! And I think I think <laughs> important, important assistance. Yeah, I think an important part of that is like walkways and waterways. We know we'll be through that in a few years, no matter what. Yeah, there will we be know we won't be through affordable housing. This is like you have to you have to start somewhere to set. I mean, you can't just change all these plans and regs and everything. And so it's it's actually good, I think, that it's a high priority because then it at least sets the table for things to start to happen, which you're going to take years and years. Okay, other thoughts? Just one, uh, one observation, uh, having seen the, the goals from, from year to year, this one, I think, recognizes that we're part of a region uh, because there's affordable housing that it, it, in a more prominent role, climate is is there. Um, so it's right. it's not just a, about what happens within the city borders. Good point. Yeah. Other observations or comments? Okay. Uh, I really want to thank you for all you do. I think I probably did one more comment. It, okay. it, it's not like Rob has to accomplish our brand new thing all this year. Right. This is a goal study. It's a future looking. We already have a buying and budget. We might need some tweaks and recommendations, but it's not like everything goes out the window that we're just going to do it. But this is a forward look. Right. So it's not like pressure on Rob suddenly produce it this year by November when we do your evaluation. And we can't think them on something we never had in the work plan again. Well, and to that point, this is sort of going to be 1920. I mean, this is, this is there's a recognition of that bridge. So, okay. okay. Uh, well, that said, I overheard you guys talking about that when we were doing the numbers. Um, do you want to talk about a, having a, a retreat at a different time of the year? Um, Maybe like May, because then I can really build a budget based on what the goals are, rather than doing this right after you pass the budget. So typically what happens in the reasons position here, there's a recognition that the budget's left. Not what you, but just the, the model. So the model says you get this in January, February. You have between now and when you are putting a budget together, 
for you to scope these goals and go, okay, based on this, now I'll put a budget together that reflects this. Does that make sense? So, it, it, so this actually links up to your budgeting process that typically can start with a get together in early summer before, and, and typically what, what a lot of organizations do, they'll do it now. The administrative staff would take this and go away and go, oh, this is the work plan and budget I'm, on, I'm going to propose to do this. If I have money in my existing budget to do some of this, I will, which obviously you will do because a lot of this is stuff you have ongoing. So that this process is actually specifically informing next year's budget because well, yeah. you, it's possible for you to advance a new goal that you don't know. I don't know what this is going to cost. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. So that's been the structure of this. In the past. And if we do this later, <coughs> we have much less time to evaluate I, your, that's on the performance on these yeah. goals. Mm -hmm. This gives well, you a year. Well, the dots aren't connecting for me because, not, yeah. because it's saying we're doing this for budgeting in 2020, right. Right. but in October, you're already evaluating the on. Yeah. Yeah, you're evaluating you on those goals, the progress you're making on those goals uh, between the time you first heard about them and when, ideally, when you actually have money to do it. So let's say, you know, you have a new, a brand new goal. And so you have between now and evaluation period to prepare a plan to work on that and do whatever work you can. Right. So that because you'll always have a new goal, I, that, no matter when you get it. Right. So that's, that's work plans that are so full that you can't do anything to that goal. Right. And he's yeah. got a new goal this year, financial stability. Well, that wasn't there last year. But what we were trying, yeah, I, I'm a little confused though, because I'm, I'm hearing some confusion between what we're establishing here and what we're evaluating Rob on. And if, if this says 2019-20, but the budget for 2019 isn't linked to these, and it won't be because it isn't, we already did the 19 budget. Um, that doesn't seem quite fair. I mean, what if, I mean, the example we were bringing up is, you know, what if a new goal came and it was, you know, budget intensive and we had zero budget for it? It doesn't seem right. I mean, either we relabel this as 2020-21 and then it would all fit the way you're talking or we move up the... So the reason you don't yeah, do know. what you're saying, you can't do that. Yeah. There's In your case, there's two reasons. In others organizations there's just generally one and that is the the process by so so you could establish goals that the management team the, they listen to the discussion a lot of times the retreat topics leading up to, to this this goal setting thing would inform that it makes the list so now they need a time to be able to go away between january and when you do your budget retreat to actually tell you how much this goal is going to cost you you could put a goal up there, and right. not only that, you it, depending on the goal, you may have to change the comp plan. You may have to change some things to get it done. So the time between when you set the goal and when you actually fund it. Right. So that's why the 20s in there, the 19s in there, because there's recognition. And there's two reasons for you. One, a lot of these goals you're already working on, so that your 19 budget probably is going to fund a number of the things that are happening here already because they're already on your, and any new ones that come forward have to go through that process to say, well, well I don't know exactly what it means. I don't know the so in October, if, if you get his evaluation and it's a brand new goal, what he should be able to come to you and say is, this is what I've done on your goal. I've scoped what it's going to take. I've told you how much it's going to cost. I've urged that you pass it in the budget. And, you have, and that's all I can do on that goal because I can't move that thing forward until you fund it. And but but or hey, I had 20 grand in there, and so I've done some stuff on this goal so far. So the evaluation should be at the service of the goal and, and where you are in that process in this model. And so you, obviously you couldn't evaluate him and say we well, didn't accomplish the goal he turned around and go, well, you didn't fund it until <laughs> right. next month when right. we pass our budget. So, right. so there's been kind of a recognition of that, and there's a nimbleness built into it. That, that Because the complaint you get if you did it your way is, well, we've got money in our budget. We could start on that goal already. I've heard that a ton of time with clients. So 
I mean, we're, this is all built from the assumption that the councils are reasonable, rational human beings that <laughs> will oh, yeah. recognize that, you know, we throw something to a Rob and he's not producing right. You know, like I, that's assuming that we all are going to the evaluation with that understanding, which I think we all are. So, you know, this is. Could we just mark the new one as new with a little parentheses then? I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. No, we uh, can't do that. So I'm well, not sure we do it. Do anything we want, but you know, right. I don't know. Just because we're know. rational human beings, I would like to say I'm also serving in my own self-interest that I have the lease going on in January of any month, and I like meeting in January yep. versus uh, any other month of the year. That's that's my fun for keeping it. <laughs> the right. truth in January. So the other thing is we do a biannual budget. So the only way to totally link it up, and I've been in an organization that every year it did goals and then it worked toward budget by the end of the year. It is chaotic and stressful. So to do two year budget, you'll always be out of sync. One year you'll be a little closer to sync, the one year you'll be a little more out of sync. The bottom line is it doesn't matter. We can add a new thing, it'll get as far as it gets, uh, but you better have some kind of plan okay. for sustainability. Okay. If he hasn't even thought about it between now and November, well then we got a problem. Well, there's enough, I, I've seen situations where council will go through this process in January. They'll identify a goal they'd like to have fun. No. And the manager will look at this and go, well, I have no money for this. And we don't want to put the burden on the retreat to say, do you have money for this? Because well, I'm not sure what this is just yet. <laughs> so, so there's this work at the staff level between January and, say, June when you get together. And I have seen where a manager would come back and go, you know, I can do this. But I need one or two things to happen. Either you need to raise the utility tax, so I have money to do it, or I need to stop doing this, and this is what we're recommending. So that, that and at that point, I've seen goals that have come on. When they hear that, they go, you know what? No. Bring us a budget. And, and so bring us a budget that, that doesn't do any of those things. And at that point, you call for the question. Then, then that, that, the question is, uh, do you, can I suspend this goal because you can't fund it or are unwilling to do it? So it, it doesn't put the pressure on you in this retreat to, to identify the funding source and the details of all that, because that defeats the kind of exp explorative kinds of discussions that you have and visioning and, you know, sidewalks, a good example. Well, you know, we don't have money and it, it work its way up. I have another client that has a swimming pool that she brought a swimming pool for years and it just kept moving up and moving up and moving up and pretty soon there it was so it doesn't put that pressure on you at the retreat to say well we have no money for this no. No. well if you actually look at every goal up there there's nothing that's a shock and so everything up there is well funded in our budget already except potentially the financial sustainability which rob has clearly already thought a lot about because he's written to us a lot about it so it it's like, I just look at that and go, there, there really is no shock up there. I think the thing that, that you're feeling now is part of your success. I think you're pretty disciplined about this model. So I think that at, in the middle of the year, Rob has actually pushed on something. He goes to the goals and, and you've backed him on that. And that's what moves your city and an organization forward. Without, the exception is if you have a unique scenario pop up for you. So like the post off or something happens. And then you just want to be you know, right-minded and go, hey, we have an opportunity here. Let, let, let's do it. But being disciplined like that in the long run has actually helped you. I would argue, so. can, I, can I give you a, uh, an extreme example of how this might be confusing to me, though? So let's say, let's say you have something in the top five. And so we build a budget based on the fact that this item is in the top five. And you adopt it in, let's say, December. A month later, you have your goal setting. And you eliminate that item from your goals completely. And you can do that. You know, but I just build a budget that has that in the top five. And a month later, you've, you've either dropped it down to number nine or it's gone. Now I'm confused. And what do I do with that? Because I just built a budget. You got extra money to spend on your other goals. You could do that, but this council hasn't done that. So what would be in our top five? But it's always the top five of the top priority. Right. And I'm seeing one go from number five to number seven. And I just built a budget based on number five being in the top five, and now it's number seven. So. Well, maybe we just need to recognize that evaluation time. 
That's a valid push rod. Okay. It's not a big yeah. deal to me. I'm fine. I'm flexible. I can, I can be nimble. But So the assumption would be that if you built a budget on goals that were there, mm -hmm. that, that, that you would move them forward, particularly if it just moved from the top five to number seven. Yeah. I think what you could do at budget time is ask, or at this retreat, saying, do you want me to not work on it as much as, I, as the budget suggests I will? And get that answer. Yeah. Yeah, I, so maybe one of the things you would mind that might help is if you, if we understood maybe a little, and I, I don't want to, this is your work plan to try to figure out how to get there, but maybe to understand what we've shifted in your mind to understand what has come off and what's gone on in a way that will have a significant impact. Maybe there's, uh, you know, um, again, I, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> this, this is, this is fine. Um, we're going to, we're going to do these things. We, we're going to do our thing we plan to. So. Okay. Well, and remember, the financial stability, sustainability plan. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's something that you know that you proposed, and <laughs> and you know, to me, uh, the fact that it is number four, that, that's a good thing. Yeah, and I already wrote about it in the budget. Was yeah. planning to do it anyway. That's never official standard. Please come full circle. <laughs> <laughs> you have the support of your council. <laughs> and after all, Wyatt was the man said, I'm done. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think Wyatt's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. your, your retreat discussion, I think, informed this the way it turned out. I mean, yeah. And it, 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 you know, you couldn't come back and change. I mean, you want to be nimble and practical about it. So we're sticking with January for the retreats? Yeah. yeah. I almost feel like yeah. they're all busy. Tell us. Well, we, we do the, I mean, the budget show retreat. Show. <laughs> you do the budget retreat in yeah. May or June every other year. So that's probably fun. Thanks. Yeah. We were fun with other things, but you two showed an existential crisis about this. <laughs> 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 we, we were about to turn and walk out. Well, make sure we get um, all of you. So did somebody just said you're in a meeting and you're talking about my property? Did you really? Who? Who said that? Dennis Kroger. He just called. We made. Okay, we're, hey, we're, still we're, we're, we're still live. We're still so, live. We're still live. We're still live. So I think I'd like to ask: you, Are we ready to adjourn? Yes. And sure. I want to thank you for working thank you. hard like you do all the time and producing. So, Thanks, Michael. So, thank you, Michael, for leading the meeting the way that you do and adding the value that you always have. We really appreciate it. I'm to do that. You need to close us out? Yep. If there's no further business to come before us. We are adjourned. <laughs>